Why? Why would the Holy Spirit send evil spirits to torment us? Hmm. Very great question, Sister Soldier. You have an ongoing argument about that the Holy Spirit create evil. Is the Holy Spirit evil? Or if the Holy Spirit is so loving and he said everything that he made was good, why is there evil? And why does he allow evil to get away with so much? This is very important to understand who the Holy Spirit is, what the Holy Spirit is. The Holy Spirit will not be disrespected. The Holy Spirit will not tolerate sin, abomination, wickedness. And there have to be punishment for when we do wrong. I don't care how many demons, what number you put on it, evil spirits, they all have to answer to the Most High. Very important to understand this. And then you got to realize you fight against yourself, the devil, and this world. Now, which one is wearing you out the most? Is it yourself? Is it the world? Is it the devil? Or all of them? The Holy Spirit allows things to happen. Once again, the demons have to obey the Holy Spirit. The demons cannot do nothing unless I would have the Father say, now I'm giving you permission. A lot of people don't understand that. And there's, by not understanding, you'll keep saying things like, God did this. Which God? That's why I capitalized that G-O-D up there in the title. Which God do? You know, you know, I don't like to to, to to refer to the Holy Spirit as God like that. I used to I always say Yahuwah the most high. A higher, as Brother Steve would say. But nobody that's a believer really want to be tormented. Because that could be physical pain. That could be Mental, mental type of pain, or etc. And some some people may say, "Well, JT, man, that's just cold blooded for the most time to do that. He's supposed to love us, yeah, he does. But do you think you're gonna keep getting away with willfully sinning? You think you're gonna get away with doing what you want to do and call yourself a believer? Uh -huh. See, when you go back to First Samuel chapter sixteen. The Bible shows you that that evil spirit was sent from the Most High to torment Saul. Saul started out well. Y'all know the story. I ain't even got to go through it. But Saul was disobedient more than once. And see, if you really understand what the Holy Spirit is doing, he will also use the evil spirit to bring somebody else in your life. Uh-oh. Boy, did we catch this in his lesson. Saul messed up so bad. But he still used the evil spirit. Let me take my time here. To bring... <laughs> A little old shepherd boy coming on the scene now by the name of David, Jesse's son. They went through 
every last one of Jesse's sons. And then Tyree said, it got to be, is it one more? He said, yeah, my baby boy's out there attending to the sheep. Go get him. David was chose for this. And even though our Heavenly Father sent the evil spirit to torment, see, look, catch this, catch this in his lesson. He sent the evil spirit to torment Saul, not kill him, just so he could also bring in David through the music. Uh-oh. Notice it was no lyrics. It was just David playing the music. We may say a harp, whatever that string instrument was. I'm going to just say a harp. No lyrics. That's why it's very important what type of music you call yourself bringing before the Holy Spirit. Because it might not work. Uh, this little shepherd boy was a, was a handsome man. Talented, gifted man who knew how to play. And the evil spirit was also, once again, a part of Saul's judgment for being disobedient. See, the Holy Spirit, the Bible shows that the Holy Spirit left Saul. Don't let the Holy Spirit leave you, my brothers and sisters. The Holy Spirit, removed, let me remove myself from Saul because I can't play along with what Saul doing. You want to do your own thing, the Holy Spirit will leave you out there flat on your own. When the Bible say he would never leave me, never forsake me, I would be with you all the way. Yeah, you, you really look at it, you leave, you leave in him. Mm. He already tell you what he would not put up with, what he would not tolerate. And apparently, them, them, them demons, them evil spirit, they been want to attack Saul. Do we catch that? But long as Saul was anointed, oh, we teach Holy Spirit. Long as Saul had to, he was in good standards with the Holy Spirit, they couldn't do nothing. But when he fell off, Holy Spirit said, okay, now you want to do what you want to do, Saul? They got permission to attack you now. Mm -mm -mm. Look at my title once again. Why would God send the evil spirit to torment us? Woo! Well, some may say, well, J.T., is he still allowing that to happen nowadays to torment us as a believer? What do you think? I'm going to let you answer your own question because of what I just stated right here. Really, the answer is already there if you count it. We bring... So much harm on ourselves by disobedience. Mm -mm -mm. The Holy Spirit gave the evil spirits permission. Now, go torment Saul. Boy, torment don't feel good. See, a lot of us don't understand when the Holy Spirit is trying to get our attention. And when he's trying to get our attention, he's being blamed for everything. Hmm. And not understanding that that evil spirit might be a good way to get at you because he's about to bring you in some joy. But you too busy focused on the evil spirit. And no, uh, notice another thing I want to point out in her is that when he allowed that evil spirit to torment it, um, torment Saul, it was only temporary. Mm. It was only temporary. Don't you know that when the Holy Spirit is getting your attention and he allow things to happen, it's only temporary. Well, JT, what's the time limit? I can't tell you that. I've been in this for a long time. What's long according to the Holy Spirit? Holy Spirit ain't worried about no time. We are. But it was only temporary. But once again, he sent a young man that was anointed by the name of David was sent to be right there with Saul. Holy Spirit sent the evil spirit and the Holy Spirit also showed calm that evil spirit. 
Think about that for a moment. Mm, mm, mm. How powerful is that? How powerful is that? But I like when the Bible say it departed from Saul, which means it was time up. Holy, when the Holy Spirit say time up, demons, you got to go. Mm -mm -mm. No matter how much those demons want to stay there, once again, they have to obey the Holy Spirit. Look at Ananias and his wife in the New Covenant. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all remember the other day I talked about that man in, in the Corinthian church who was, was committing adultery. Remember? And incest. And what happened? The Holy Spirit showed them to turn that man over to Satan. But catch that. Turn him over because that's how bad he was inside the church. Ouch. Turn him over to Satan. But the Bible still said his soul could be saved. Catch these scriptures. Mm. Turn him over to Satan. His sins was too bad. But his soul could still be saved. Why would the Holy Spirit send these evil, demonic, jacked up, hurtful mm, demons? Well, let's look at Apostle Paul for a moment. The Holy Spirit allowed Paul to be tormented. Think about it. Paul prayed three times to have that thorn removed from his flesh. Wasn't going to get removed. We may not agree with the way our Heavenly Father do things because a lot of times we don't understand it. But if you're studying, you should understand it. You should understand that when he say, all things work together. Y'all know it. Come on, Book of Romans. All things. That means I got to take the good with the bad, even though it looks so bad, but it's working out for my good. Peace, Holy Spirit. Hmm. When I look at these passages in the Bible, this is why we're supposed to rely on the Holy Spirit, His power, that grace and the mercy that He gives us. Because as Ephesians 6 teaches us, we got to put on the whole armor to be able to stand against these fiery darks of the evil one. That this battle is not against flesh and blood, but it's, it's, it's against principalities, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places. You'll never fight and win this battle on your own. Look at Job. Satan causing those things on Job allowed by the Holy Spirit. This is why so many people can't stand God because they don't like the way they don't like the way the Holy Spirit operates. That ain't fair. Now I'm gonna tell you what's not fair the way we keep disrespecting our Heavenly Father who gave us all of this. What ain't fair is how we continue to grieve the Holy Spirit. What ain't fair is how the Holy Spirit get blamed for so many things that you're doing on your own and that Satan has done. Why does he got to get the blame for everything? Because he's allowing it and not causing it. Big difference. I may allow my children to go through some suffering to teach them a lesson from being hard-headed. But I didn't cause it. They cause that mess on themselves. And they may not agree with my discipline. Daddy, why would you allow? 
them old men back in the day, you got locked up. They allowed you to stay in jail. They wasn't going to put up no bail money because they would say, leave that fool in there until he learned his lesson. I ain't going to waste my hard-earned money on the system. Let him learn. Some learned, some didn't. Some never got back out. Some died in there. We have to be taught a lesson. Holy Spirit, I've always been the Holy Spirit of order. I don't know why some of us don't get that. You think you're going to be out of order in the Holy Spirit when they're going to chastise you? You got another thing coming. See, if Saul would have just kept being obedient, if JT would have kept being obedient, if brothers and sisters, we, we would kept being obedient, we would have cut out a whole lot of this mess in our lives. But we was disobedient. How many times have I put myself in something that the Holy Spirit told me to leave alone and I got into it and I prayed for him to bail me out of something that he didn't put me in. Oh yeah. Sometimes you just better realize you better take take responsibility for your own actions. So I look at the blessing on the Holy Spirit sending the evil spirit to torment because when I go back to Saul once again, he sent the evil spirit to torment Saul. But then it, even in that evilness, he bring it in holiness again. Here come King. Well, he wasn't King David at the time. He was just a little shepherd boy. But here come David. Play your music. Now to the music, to the musicians that are watching. What kind of music are we playing? Hmm. Was it is it anointed? See, when you think about this, why do you think the same thing you see in the world? I'm trying to end this video, but it just got deep. <laughs> it got deeper. Why why do you think when you see the same thing in the world, you see in a lot of church builders? Because in the world, they tell you to throw your hands up in the air and wave them like you just don't. It's the music. Hey, hey, you go in the church the same thing. Hey, hey, why you think twerking is in the church? Took me a while to understand some of this stuff. Why am I acting the same way? Why my dance is the same way? When it's supposed to be different, but it's not. Why the music is the same? Oh, uh, mm. why are we walking it out when we should be set apart? Walking it out should have never been played. So many songs should never be played in what you're supposed to be calling set apart and holy, because it will trigger your mind, even though you may be in a building, but. You twerking and, and dancing and dropping it like it's hot and thinking about somebody else. That's what's wrong with Kurt Franklin. Look at that video, Kurt Franklin bagging up on that girl on stage, bagging it up. Tight clothes on, bagging it up. Worldly dances and dances in the church shouldn't be the same. Shouldn't be. But that's a whole nother video. But I wanted to tie that in with this because the mute. There it is again, Holy Spirit. Music is used to calm. Here you go, even in this lesson. The music is used to calm the evil spirit. But what does Satan do? He uses the music to bring in the evil spirits. I know we catch that. That's why, according to what you plan, your lyrics, who produced it, it's either oh, it's either going to drive out demons or it's going to invite in demons. I believe on that note. Y'all have a blessed night. Shalom. And let's continue to keep each other lifted up in prayer. And I love y'all and continue once again to have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day. Shalom.